What's going on YouTube? It's Jason again with JJ Drones and today, well, I'm excited about this because it's my first Mini. That's right, we've got the DJI Mini 4 Pro and uh, I've been excited to get this ever since I ordered it. It's the first Mini that I've ever owned and uh, I also got the prop guards so that uh, I can fly in buildings, fly over people, seeing as how uh, you need to have something uh, to protect people from the props. So I got the prop guards. Um, we are all set up other than not having ND filters because uh, Freewell doesn't have those available yet, but we will have those shortly. However, we're gonna tear into this box and then uh, we're gonna take it out for its first flight. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the DJI Mini 4 Pro is the newest offering from DJI. And like I said, I haven't had any Minis in the past. I've always gotten the larger drones. But this drone is different from all the rest of the Minis because it jam packs every single little feature that you can get in one of the large drones into a small compact drone. Now, I did opt for the Fly More kit, so we're gonna get everything that you can, and I also got the extended batteries. Now, with the extended batteries, you are going to be over that 250 gram limit. However, as a part 107 pilot, I'm also going to have to register the drone anyway because anything that I do on YouTube, I have to be uh, licensed. So we're going to pull this out of the box and I've been, <laughs> been waiting to open this. So this is fantastic. And we'll do a size comparison here in a moment, but uh, let's open up this bag. I mean, just, First of all, look at how small this bag is, okay? So we're gonna open it up and let's see what we have in here. So we do have the new controller that has the screen inside of it. So um, the first drone that I ever got was the Mavic Air 2 and that was the only drone that I had that did not have a smart controller or a controller with a screen in it and it drove me absolutely crazy having to use my phone so <laughs> every drone I get from now on is going to have a controller that at least has a screen inside of it here you go guys so here is the smart controller or the DJI N2 I believe it is and now this one doesn't have a spot for you to tether anything to it. In fact, uh, I don't think that my tether that I have on the other controller will actually fit into these little spots here. There are some spots on the back, so we'll see if there's anything else in the bag that will help you in doing uh, those things. Now this here, is your battery charger now it comes with uh, three batteries so you got two in here there's one more in the drone so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the batteries charged up because until they are charged up you really can't do anything with the drone so let's just put these in the box and let's see here, what else we got? Okay guys, so here is the Mini. Holy cow, this is small. <laughs> it's a tiny, it's a tiny, tiny drone. Holy cow. And I thought the Mavic Air 2 was small. 
It's such a baby. And it was upside down. Who's that? Oh, it's a cute little baby. It's a baby drone. Now it's the Mini 4. Now, from everything that I've seen about it, the gimbal is the easiest part to take off, which it is. And then this part here is to hold the propellers in place. And it just snaps. And then we have all sorts of little stickers to pull off. So let's open this baby up. So these ones, the front ones actually fold open forward, which is not typical on a DJI drone. So that's something I'm going to have to get. It. But this is so lightweight. It's insane how lightweight that is. Um, let's take a look and see if there's any more stickers on here where there is not. Now you've got these vents on the back that is just to dissipate heat. And then you've got the backward facing sensors and then you have the front facing sensors. This is going to give you your, om your omnidirectional uh, obstacle avoidance. And then you've got the downward facing sensors and then you've got the uh, laser or the LiDAR on the bottom here, which is going to help you um, keep track on the ground where you're at. And then you have the LED light also on the bottom. Very, very jam-packed though. Now the batteries have the two, there's two buttons on the sides. So you pull that out and there is your battery. Now we're going to put that into the charging case. Oh, and it snaps into place, so that's nice. So actually when you put the battery into the charging case, it snaps into place. So, you know, you can't, you can't drop them out of the charging case. That's actually a really nice feature with this drone. Now, I said I was going to give you a size comparison. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the Mavic 3 Classic and it's all folded up. This is the Mini 4 Pro. I mean, there is no comparison in size. I mean, the Mavic 3, it just dwarfs that Mini 4. It's just, there's no comparison. So, I mean, this little guy is going to be used for a lot of different uh, situations than this one here but this one sucks at vehicle tracking I mean it's cool uh, with tracking me when I'm walking but absolutely horrible with vehicle tracking so we're gonna try this one out and make sure that, or see if this one is any better at vehicle tracking we're also going to uh, take it walking. We're going to go out and we're going to walk and see how the omnidirectional uh, sensors work walking in the woods, uh, out in the park. And then we're going to try and do some night flying with it, see what kind of footage you can get uh, night flying. We're going to do the waypoints. There's so many different things that I want to test on this drone, and we're not going to do it all in one video, obviously. but. Uh, you know, look forward to many videos to come with the Mini. And uh, we're going to fly in the house. Yeah. So uh, let me get the update done. And I'm not going to go through and go through all of the updates and stuff with you. It's all pretty much the same for every DJI drone. Um, but we're going to get the drone registered because it does have to be registered because I am a Part 107 pilot and I am using my footage for YouTube. So uh, just remember that when you're getting a sub 250 gram drone, if you're using it for YouTube, you got to register it. So, um, all right guys, so let me get that done and then uh, we'll take it out on its first flight. Actually, we're gonna fly it in the house. So that's gonna be its first flight. Okay guys, so that took about an hour for this drone to update and get everything situated. Plus I've got 
the registration done on the drone so we are now legally able to fly this drone but I want to fly it in the house and the one thing that I've always heard is that these propeller guards are fantastic for doing something like that so and we're gonna see how much bigger it makes the drone because this is a huge box now I've got no idea how to assemble this so that's going to make it even more interesting if, if not for anyone uh, other than, than you guys and it has instructions in the box we're we kidding we're not going to read the instructions now we are going to take it for its first flight outside at some point hopefully before it gets too dark outside okay so this is side one so this is the right side it actually is labeled on here I don't know if you can see it uh, focus okay it's not gonna focus enough for you guys to see it but it does say R on there but there it is the mini is ready to roam the house <laughs> I know that I've flown it in the house before, but never quite like this. Let's see how it goes. Now, I'm not planning there being any GPS or anything like that. So once this thing is ready to fly, it's going to fly. And uh, <laughs> it's just craziness. It says remote ID error. Okay, now it... Point updated. Obstacle sensing not available at night. Well, it is not night. So we're going to hit the check complete. Take off. I'm going to hit record. Now I've got all obstacle avoidance turned off. And the reason that is... I wouldn't be able to uh, fly this thing if I did. All right. Don't want to hit any walls. What in the world are you doing? I'm sweeping the floor. That's what I'm doing. All right, let's see if we can bring it right back upstairs. Oh, 
Oh, and just in case you are curious, all of those things are going to be going into the studio. This is fantastic. I'd call that a successful first flight, wouldn't you? We made it through the house, we didn't crash. And we didn't crash because obviously we had the gimbal guards on there. It's fantastic. Just had all of the uh, obstacle avoidance sensors turned off. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Other than all the dog hair <laughs> flying up in my face. And uh, I'm sure that there is, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of dog hair in the gimbal guards themselves so definitely are taking <laughs> i don't know if you could see that yeah but anyways the next thing we need to do is take it out for his first flight outside so why don't we go do that here in a minute Okay guys, so we're getting to the golden hour, so this is going to be the perfect time to fly. Uh, as you can probably see behind me, um, the skies are beautiful right now. We're not going to have time to do a whole lot today, but I wanted to at least get a first flight in. We can try the, uh, um, the, the landing, the precision landing that this drone has, because it has the same precision landing that you're going to find in any of the Mavic 3 series. And you're also going to get the AR return to home where it shows you the path when it's flying back. And then you're also going to have um, the AR home point. So we're gonna turn on screen recording because that is what we do. So now we're gonna go back into the settings. We're gonna turn on bypass for control or for safety and uh, Let's see here. Let's go down to advanced safety settings and return to home. All right, I think this drone is ready to take off. Only I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to the center of the truck, just in case. All right, check complete. Take off. And now we're going to take off. Home point updated. That drone is quiet. We're gonna bring it up 30 feet. Just like we do with every drone. Now you can see on the tunnel cover of my truck, you can see where the spot is that if it were gonna land right now, where it would land. And if you can't see it, I'll even zoom in. This drone does have three times zoom. Look at that. So if it were to land right now, that's exactly where you could expect it to land, which is right where we took off from. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift that drone up. 
And we do have kids playing basketball over in the basketball court, so I'm not gonna go and bother them too much. But we are gonna probably come down And now we're going to go across the street. Now we don't have the side cameras. But now that's going for that tree. off to the side. Absolutely perfect. And it avoided that tree. Beautiful. Now here is the one thing that I didn't try with the Mavic 3 that I want to try with this drone. I want to do the return to home. Return to home. Now, if I think it's going to hit anything, I'm going to definitely cancel it. But if you saw it, I hardly believe it. It was down, Landing. it wasn't very high off the ground, which is something that I wanted to try. And because it wasn't high off of the ground, I thought maybe it would try and go underneath the power lines, but it didn't. It went exactly over them as I would have hoped. and it landed right where I took off from. This drone is phenomenal. So one other thing I'm gonna try and do real quick, I mean, I've got plenty of battery, don't get me wrong, but what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna try and do a little bit of tracking. Take off. Now I can't go into the park because All I don't wanna get a copyright strike from the guys playing music over there in the park. So we're probably gonna go walking down the road in that direction. And we're gonna see. Okay, so now I have highlighted myself and go to active track. And I'm gonna hit go. Now, the one thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings Go into control, go into fact, focus track settings, and I've got near ground fight, flight, okay? And that's turned on, so if it runs into any problems, it's going to be able to go down. Now, it saw me look back at it, okay? And when it when I look back at it, it started to go back in the other direction because it's starting to think that that's the direction that I'm going to be going. And we do have a car coming, so... Alright, so now we've got the drone. We're going to stop. Yeah, I don't like that. Way too close to the power lines for my taste. All right, so that <laughs> just kind of freaked me out a little bit. But you can hear all of the obstacle avoidance. And what I'll do is I'll turn that down 
because I know that's annoying. But now I want it to go back in front of me. And it went under the power lines. Again, this is, this is doing so well. I'm just gonna turn around. And here it comes. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. Now, this isn't anywhere near as what I thought that I was gonna do with the tracking, and we're gonna have to do more testing with it. But if you wanted to as well, let's, uh, let's stop recording. Yeah. Okay. So if you're trying to do like a TikTok or something, you can still track. You can still track like, or track while you're walking. And the drone is more than happy to allow you to do that. Now we've got a tree and power lines. So I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna cancel. Put it back because that view is the bane of my existence. So here we go. Let's do a speed test. Stick forward. We got. says six miles an hour. And coming back, we got 15.9. Now that six miles an hour could be because of obstacles. So let's put it up in the air a little bit better. And there you can see the paper mill in the background. Okay, let's do full stick forward. We got 26.6 miles per hour. And then go full stick back. Right around the same thing. And now let's put it in the sport mode and not crush it. How about that? Okay, full stick forward. It's 34.7 miles per hour. Not bad for this little mighty drone. So I tried to get some fall colors the other day and there wasn't really much. Well, battery overcurrent, maintain smooth flight and see if ch check if aircraft is overloaded. Well, let's bring it back. Well, I don't know what... The problem was there. But let's go back to what I planned on doing. We're starting to get some fall colors over here.
All right. Oh, there's a sunset. Let's stop recording. Let's get some pictures. Okay. And we're just going to do, uh, well, let's do a couple of burst shots. And let's go over here. And take a picture. All right, we'll, ch we'll take a look at what those pictures look like and I'll uh, put those up on the screen right here. All right, so now I'm going to put it back into video mode, do return to home. And then we'll talk about what we're gonna be doing with this drone next. Stay with me. Okay guys, well, we put up the Mini 4 Pro and uh, it was fantastic. Just the picture was nice and clear. The tracking on it was absolutely phenomenal. I think that I'm more paranoid about all of the power lines and stuff here than uh, the Mini 4 is, but uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry. I definitely don't want to be sending this back after one day of filming with it uh, because that would be awful but i do plan on bringing it out to uh, dave's falls at some point hopefully maybe tomorrow depending on weather and uh and stuff that i need to get done before i go to work but um, if not we'll find somewhere similar to that to do a really good test of the active track and uh, we'll do another test with this drone as far as the vehicle tracking goes because I still am yet to find a drone that can vehicle track as well or at, at least close to the ability of a Skydio and so that's what I'm kind of hoping to get out of this drone and then uh, we're going to do uh, night flights we're going to do waypoints we're going to do all sorts of different things and test every one of these features out on this drone so if you want to be a part of that all you got to do is hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time i upload one of my videos to youtube um, this mini 4 is going to be a great tool for my channel and i'm excited to use it on a regular basis i appreciate all of you for coming along for this ride with me and we'll see you later on down the road bye guys